Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast and intuitive message for today, 420. Yes, April 20th, 2016. If you have no idea why I said 420, good for you. If you do, it's not something I partake in. It's just a joke, but it is funny. Look it up. Google it. So happy day to you. So, um, you know, thanks for retweeting, posting, subscribing, become a fan, checking out my Facebook page, um, you know, you know, checking out my website, Intuitive Mitchell, partaking of any of my services. I truly appreciate it. So today, I've said this before, I'll say it again, I was prompted, and that is this. I believe that we are here to experience all that we can. I believe that that is our main purpose. You know, years ago there was The Purpose Driven Life. It was a wonderful book. I think it was timely, but I think I think we've shifted and grown, um, shall we say, out of that, beyond that, in a different vibration, where I feel like now the main thing is for us to just experience. You know, I think we're, we're understanding, you know, soul contracts and karmic lives and karmic scripts and, and plans and destiny, you know, combined with free will. We just talked about this last night, and do we really have it? Do we not? David Palmer, you know, he would, he, he would argue we don't have any free will, but yet it's like we had the free will before we incarnated and we write the script out. That makes a little sense to me, and I don't disagree with him because it resonates with me, but I do feel like it's almost like, you know, hey, I'm going to enter college. Here's the degree I'm going to get. You know, and then I start signing up for classes. Sometimes they're elective. Sometimes they're, they're prerequisite. Sometimes they're mandatory. You know, so I think we have mandatory things we have to hit. I think we have lots of electives. But ultimately, I think we're here to experience as much as we can, experience the contrast. You know, the karmic contrast of, you know, in a previous lifetime, we were the abuser and now we're the abused person. You know, we experience that so we know what it's like to be fully human, to feel every aspect, every dimension that we possibly can, which is why I truly believe we have multiple lives going on at the same time because outside the body, there's no time. Plus, I think we are pretty much experiencing everything possible to us over many, many millions, gazillions of lifetimes, some that we have thought of and can bring back and some that we have no clue that we can get back to. But that's just my belief. That's just what resonates with me at this point in my life. In a year from now, two, 10, 20, it's going to be totally different. And then when I cross over out of this body, I'm going to go, <laughs> oh, that's what it was all about. So I'm experiencing as much as I can and enjoying the contrast. So today, the 20th day, all the numbers add up to six. So it's a six day. It's work. It's just this um, it's balance, nurturing, work, domestic, marriage, divorce, family focus. Six is a family focus number. I got the tower and seven of cups for today when I drew yesterday. Today I shuffled and let's see what we got. All right, this is the stork. This is often about downloads, you know, shipments, arrivals, um, pregnancy, improvements, upgrades. Tarot to go along with the stork is going to be the knight, excuse me, King of Swords. So this could be a King of Swords getting a shipment, a download. You know, the swords are mental, logical. So it could be an idea, a thought. Um, it could be a revelation. Or it could be because of its, its masculine and phallic. It could be finally the King of Swords is getting someone pregnant, you know, having the baby arrive. Um, so look for that energy today because it's being family focused. So definitely could be around that. Tomorrow, all the numbers add up to seven. Very mystical, metaphysical um, <laughs> research, analytical kind of a day. You know, it's very solitude, wisdom um, are all of the key words for the seven number. And the norm to go along with it is. 20, the garden, and this is often about a get-together, a party, could be a wedding, reception, a graduation, definitely like a gathering of sorts, people hanging out and around. So, Tara, to go along with that garden card, is three of coins. So I'd say this is probably like a work party, like a lunch party. I'd say it feels intimate. You know, maybe just a couple people, maybe like three, a nice get-together. And it's number seven, so it may be a get-together where you start talking about spiritual things, you know, spiritual focus, metaphysical, mystical. Maybe you said, hey, let's get together and just, you know, read for each other or, or share what's been going on in our lives or, or something like that along those natures. That's tomorrow, tomorrow. So there you go. Hey, thanks again. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, IntuitiveMitchell.com is the website. Check it out. Um, what else do I want to say? I just appreciate you. Namaste. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.